from the brothers who went from talented to terrible faster than you can say Wachowski comes the sequel audiences demanded, then sort of got, then once everyone had moved on with their lives, got again anyway. Dumb and Dumber 2. Revisit the buddy comedy that's aged about as well as Jeff Daniels' face as you follow two idiots on a quest to deliver a mysterious package to a beautiful girl again. Samsonite. I was way off. Only this time, it's so crushingly horrible. Our word is our bond. James Bond. <sighs> the goofballs you used to love when you were 10 or 13 are back and dumber than ever. But now they're also old, unlikable, sexist, racist, and bizarrely mean-spirited. We love you, Hattie. Do you love him long time? Lady doctor, that always cracks me up. Yeah, doctor doing the laundry, maybe. Am I right? Show, Show us your, your tits! tits! Both of them! <laughs> if you liked the first one, this one is really gonna bum you out. Now that Jim Carrey's comedy career is dangling by a thread, Get ready to feel uncomfortable as he does everything short of drop to his knees and beg you to laugh at him. Which you won't, since he spends the movie creepily trying to bang a girl decades younger than him. Kind of like real life. This is a message for Emma Stone. If I were a lot younger, I would marry you. The sex. So this is what rock bottom feels like. Jokes are never as funny the second time around. But that won't stop them from dusting off the Banaka Spray Gag. The most annoying sound in the world. You want to hear the second most annoying sound in the world? The Mud Cuts Van. IOUs. I'm going to write an IOU. And I'm going to leave it blank. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Dead birds. And Lloyd having a fantasy about beating up Asian people, then hooking up with a girl who turns into the front of a truck. There's probably more that I missed. Get ready for a script that feels like it was written in 98 and kept in the shoebox until Jim Carrey's career took a dive. Full of dated pop culture references that no one bothered to update. What'd they say in Jerry Maguire? You add me at a low. Um, Titanic? I'm thinking the world. And current pop culture references that aren't gonna age well. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. So ride along with Harry and Lloyd in a movie so bad you won't even look up from your phone when you half watch it on cable. When the only fun moment is Rob Riggle's body paint. And the only good parts are when the credits show clips from the first movie. Ugh, did they get worse or did I just get older? She was rumored to be a Titanic whore. That's a lie. Freda never stepped foot on the Titanic. Nah, they definitely got worse. Starry. Farts. Poop. Incest. That means I'm here. And we almost... Pee pee. Spit, snot, more farts, period blood, animal farts, and vagina dust. <laughs> Grown-ups too. As if this movie wasn't depressing enough, can you believe they guilt-tripped Bill Murray to cameo in that hazmat suit? Best day ever. Greatest day of my life, really. I'll bet it wasn't. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Biscuits and gravy. Derp, derp, derpity derp. Did you just double dip that chip? Bite my shiny metal ass. Tonight, we dine in hell. Oh wait, they close at six. Okay, how about Mickey D's? Finagle my bagel.